Hello Taurus. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I will be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. Wow, you got a lot of flippers. <laughs> I have here the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. So do keep in mind that I am focusing on the other person. However, some people have mentioned that the energies seem to be um, reversed. And that's only because sometimes we do exchange energy when we're with an individual as well. Also, this is not going to resonate with everyone out there. It is a general love reading. And I also wanted to make uh, make an announcement about this. There are a few people out there that think that I'm channeling the messages um, of what this person actually wants to tell you. I am looking into the feelings and emotions of what this person is feeling. But that is up to them. That is their choice if they actually want to physically tell you. I'm just telling you the things that they're not telling you. So... This doesn't mean that this is something that they want to tell you, and so I'm speaking on their behalf. This is not what that is. I'm simply just expressing to you certain things that they have inside of their heart that they're just not telling you. Simply to put your heart at ease and maybe have you, sorry, um, make you have a better understanding of what they're feeling, why they're feeling it, Okay. Also keep in mind that the timing, this could have already happened. This could be happening right now, or some of you might experience this in the far future. So we have here embracing the shadow, responsibility, anger and rage, laughter, then we have cycles, nourishment, awakening, synthesis, and wisdom under the bottom of the deck. Okay, just give me one sec. So I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Taurus, There are things that have happened between us that are very awkward. Our situation itself has become quite awkward. And there's a lot of feelings of being uncomfortable in this connection, the way things were, the way things are. What I've turned things into. You have seen this shadow side of me, this dark side, a side that I usually don't show other people. There are certain things that I have done and I'm not proud of it. I now realize that it's time for me to take responsibility for certain actions that I've taken, for certain things that I've said and done. And I also need to re take responsibility for certain things I didn't do, but I should have, and I didn't say, and I should have spoken, but I just didn't. I am now angry at myself and I am annoyed by the situation that I find myself in and the situation that I put you in because now our situation itself is very awkward. I realize now that you are like a best friend to me. Certain things that you say and do make me realize that you are someone very special and unique. Someone that makes my heart happy. You are like sunshine and you make me laugh. Now I can't stop obsessing and thinking over certain things that have happened in this connection. I now understand that you are the complete package. 
you are emotionally, physically and spiritually quite fulfilling. And you nourish me. I have now come to an awakening moment and I am seeing things from your perspective. Seeing things through your eyes. There are many things that have happened and a long time ago there was a lot of peace and harmony in this connection but now there is a lack of peace and harmony and I wish to restore that because now I am wiser I have learned from my mistakes there have been experiences that I've gone through and even though it may seem like it I am not exactly the same person that I was back then. I can confidently say that I am wiser now. All right, Taurus. This person has gone through a few things and they have now I would say they are starting to change or some of them may have already changed some people out there. Um, this is like a lesson learned and being responsible. They're annoyed at themselves and what the situation has turned into. Um, is there a lot of romantic feelings? Right now, no. It's almost as if they're focusing more on other things that they consider priority. It's not just romance. It's about them understanding their relationship with themselves plus their relationship with you. Um, but it's about learning. It's all about learning through their experiences. I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. So I'll be looking into the feel, not feeling, sorry. I'll be looking into the reasons why there was an obstacle in the first place. What was the reason why certain things happened in this connection that were negative? We have here the Princess of Cups, and then we have Temptation. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at the Princess of Cups. So the individual that you're dealing with, Taurus, oh wow. Back then when everything started, you might have thought that this was a really good relationship where things were real. Things were emotional. Now, for some of you, not all of you, but the majority of you I'm seeing here, is the offer that they gave you, this cup of love, it looked as if it might have been water. But it was not. I'm seeing vinegar. White vinegar. It looked like it was all that you wanted, but it turned out to be something different. Here, it talks about an empty offer or an invitation. This is for love. Fickleness and immaturity of the individual's affection. Remember, there's immaturity. And earlier we had over here the wisdom card, right? So wisdom is now here currently. This is what happened in the past. The reason why there was an issue, something that they did not tell you. So, yes, there was a lot that happened in the past. Here we have fickleness or immaturity of affection, being inconsistent and even unreliable when it comes to sending messages, ambivalence, and there's a sense of codependence. Okay. We also have temptation. Now this does go hand in hand with somebody who is fickle or even giving you an empty offer. 
this lo this person may have been disloyal to some of you. You might have thought that there was a lot of loyalty, but now it seems that there's a lot of um, feelings of being disloyal. Okay, we have temptation. The individual that you're dealing with was being tempted by forces that they could not control. There was obsession in the form of envy and there was a lot of sensual desires for you. They wanted freedom from this temptation because it was just kind of messing with their head, experiencing the envy of others and wanting to transform this weakness of temptation and obsession into a strength. They were almost like desperately in lust, not in love, but desperately in lust with you. I mean, this person was like, you know, there's, there's some beautiful songs out there, but it's hopelessly devoted to you, but only because of lust. And this is all that this person knew. But remember now, Taurus, this is in the past, right? The first spread that I had, that's what they're feeling now. So for sure, they are getting wiser because the wisdom card was there. So the feelings that this individual had mostly were lust. And you thought it was love, but it was an empty offer. All right. So we have here the beginner's tarot deck. I'm going to be looking into any actions, any plans, any intentions that this individual has towards you. Okay, Eight of Cups. First, they want to definitely move on from the situation. They want to retreat. They want to move on to a, they want to move on to a better mindset. You are on their mind a lot, mind. And what they want is to a retreat find themselves like that spiritual journey like the wisdom card and this is exactly what i said in the beginning finding themselves in order to understand who they are understanding love so that they can be with you now once again we have here the queen of wands once again this person does have absolute lust for you like there is you are just so good looking and sexy and irresistible this is what this person feels Honestly, it's like they can't help themselves. It's like a magnet. They just can't help themselves. World. They don't like being far away from you physically. They want to be close to you physically and emotionally. Oh my goodness, look at that. Fell right down. Ace of Cups. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, so we have the moon card here. So we do have two major arcanas. Um, yes, this person wants to come back around into your life because you do mean the world to them. Right now, what they're focusing on is some betrayal and some lies. When they go to sleep at night, they do feel quite hmm, emotional. Even teary-eyed, some of them out there, some people out there, not everybody. But there's a lot of emotions, and these emotions only come up at night when the individual is alone. Alone in their bed, sleeping, just thinking, just contemplating. And I'm also getting that a few times they have actually looked at the moon. I'm getting this intuitively. They look at the moon and they just feel very romantic. They wonder if you're looking at the moon as well. Very old-fashioned feelings there you see this part of this individual there is some type of deep love here that's emotional but they haven't tapped into it now this is something that's currently happening but what this person wants to do is move on from the situation and be with the person that they feel really tempted by they are tempted by you because they don't like being at a distance from you anymore 
we also have here the Ace of Cups. This person that you're dealing with now wants to say sorry. They want to make things better between the both of you. They want forgiveness. They want to offer love. They want to make things right. Why? Because they do know and they realize that there was some lies and betrayal in this connection. So are they going to take any action? I do see that Taurus, but I do see it happening after a while. Remember, this person is just learning and becoming wise now. This person was not wise before. They were immature. So you are where you are emotionally, spiritually, and physically. But this person is not up to your level yet. So that's going to take some time. All right. I have here the Doreen Virtues Archangel Answer Cards. Just going to do a quick prayer. Okay. These are messages from Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to guide you on the right path to what they think is right for you because they can see the greater good. So they do want to see your soul happy. If your soul is happy, then your body is healthy and happy. Here we have listen to your intuition. So it is important to listen to your higher self, which is your soul. This is your soul speaking to you, you, your spirit, your body. You're having a conversation. So don't doubt yourself whenever you get any type of intuitive messages. There's a reason why it's happening. Here we have yes. Yes. Um, listen to your intuition. Yes, it, we have here within the next few weeks. There's a timeline here. Oh, goodness me. Oh my gosh, look at that. Within the next few weeks, this could also be few weeks, could also be months. There's going to be big happy changes. Absolutely amazing. Very nice. And you can manifest certain things by asking your angels. So the way you can ask your angels, with these angels, particularly Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, you can pray to the Christ consciousness. Through Christ you get to Jehovah. From there in your mind's eye, you can call upon Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to guide you and to protect you throughout this entire situation. Let them know what the issues are. And do it every day. Don't overdo it. Don't keep repeating yourself. They can hear you once. But just keep your intention clear. Okay, improving health. It appears that some people have not been feeling well. This connection has been such a burden on some of you that illnesses and sadness and depression have taken over. We also have here another card, remain positive and be assertive. You will get the chance to talk to this person. So when you do, remember to be assertive. Let them know what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with. You also have here, right now you might think, Taurus, that this is the right time. They are telling you right now is not the right time to be involved with this person because I know, I think some of us already feel this, this person needs to grow. Now, personally, I'm not doing personal readings right now for certain types of packages that I have. For those of you that are experiencing negative energy or any type of energy effect that might be bringing you down, making you feel a little like lethargic, you know, not wanting to do things in life, that is a feeling of negative energy. So in order to remain positive, you need to get rid of the negative energy. So I do have, for now, um, the self-help package. It's quite affordable and it is the Holy Light Package. This will get rid of any negative energies that are in your home, around your aura, and inside of your body. 
So I do recommend that for some of you, if you feel that you need a little extra help in terms of becoming more positive or getting rid of negative energies to bring in positive energy, um, the Holy Light Package is exactly that. It, I, I've taught you, I teach you how to, how to help yourself in getting rid of negative energies and being free, releasing them from your life. And then you have that material for the rest of your life. So if anything ever happens in the future, anything negative, you'll be able to get rid of that energetically as well. So I just thought I'd mention that. It's the Holy Light Package. For those of you that are interested in knowing more about spiritual connections and past life related um, things, <laughs> I actually have a new channel. Some of you already know this. Um, it's called Asnoitia Audio. So there you can find out more about Twin Flames, Soulmates, Karmic Partners, um, past life and spiritual connection. So I have just a few videos up. I uh, just wanted to let some of you know, for those of you that are not aware, it's called Asnointia Audio. And definitely uh, visit, like, do, share, and subscribe. Um, and thank you once again for tuning in. I will see you guys again. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your respective situations and that uh, some of you have become a bit more um, I guess open to realizing that okay this person was having problems they this person really did too many cards came up where this individual had issues within themselves within this person's own self so this is why it's not the right time the time will be right when they are ready and that could take a while I believe it may just be a few months all right then you guys take care and stay safe Bye now.